My hands are sweaty. I hope this doesn't affect my crafting ability. Pits are sweating. <laughs> Let's do this. All right. <laughs> All smut. Smut? Hmm. Smug? Smug. Today, we are working with liquid frisket. Not brisket. I wish we were working with brisket. It's this handy dandy little white liquid. You squeeze this on the paper and it masks it. You can paint over it, you can stamp over it, and then it magically reveals what you wrote. Here's what you need. Liquid frisket. Fine tip applicator bottle. Watercolor paper. Watercolor paints. Paintbrush. Rubber stamps. Stamp ink. Picture frames. And a dropper. Okay, so we have some watercolor paper. Okay. So what's really the difference between watercolor paper and any other paper? Just thicker? Yeah, it's thicker. Right. Acid-free. You can't just read the front um, like you know everything about excellent it. Excellent for watercolor <laughs> techniques. So, I have incredible white mask. You're not supposed to shake it because it causes bubbles. I was reading that you're literally supposed to give it one turn a day and then the next day, <laughs> turn it again. <laughs> Forever? Forever. This specific package came with the dipstick. Mm. And I tried it, and it was just a lot of work. So take your dipstick and get it out of here. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. I was reading up on the blogs and saw that you can get some fine line applicators that work great. This one already has a little bit. Squeeze some in here. I'll let you you could pour, but that's too dangerous. Oh, is it supposed to be this milky on top? Oh, oh my gotta... gosh, that stinks. Yeah, it's not. Ugh. It kind of smells like rotting animal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This stuff isn't like toxic or anything. I wouldn't breathe heavily. Okay. Well, as a fellow mouth breather. Fellow? I've seen you. you <laughs> you're sometimes catching flies. <laughs> There, there we go. go. So this one's one. a little thicker. <laughs> There's also not as much in there, but your name's shorter. That's true. So we're gonna write our names. All right, let's write. All right, it's not coming out. Um, it might be stuck in there. Actually, oh, that's a big bubble. You kind of want to pop the bubbles. Oh no. <laughs> you want to push the base down. There we go. Do you want to start over? No, nope, we've gone too far. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, I regret this my old thing. And when it dries, it becomes sort of translucent. So like maybe a half hour. Half an hour? Is yeah. That... All right, let's let it dry. All right, to the basement break room. <laughs> Alright, so about Whoa. two hours later. So it looks translucent. Now we can watercolor. So it's been a while since I've watercolored. How much water should I really get on the brush? Because I feel like as a kid I overdid it. Um, it's just a magical touch. The fine, it's a fine a line. Magical touch. <laughs> Wet the bristles, maybe you like shake it off a little bit. So I'm gonna do some pink. Is it called ombre or ombre? I don't really know. <laughs> you don't have to be so gentle. <laughs> Just wanna caress the paint. Go. Frisket. Frisket. Chicken in a frisket. <laughs> the chicken in a biscuit or chicken and a biscuit? Let's find out.
sponsor. <laughs> Sponsored by. <laughs> what is the paint telling you? She's evil. <gasps> she <has> silence. <laughs> I mean, it's fine because this is going to be cut up. Is this your first time working with watercolor? No, it's not. Or if it's not. I wasn't raised by wolves. Like, I had a childhood. <laughs> yeah. Watercolored. Some of us like to be a little more uh, abstract. Get out of here. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> Look at mine. Um, once it dries, like, slightly, you could lay something flat on it. If it's a little crinkly. And then we will stamp. Yes. Good, but this thing doesn't work. Okay. Oh. Looks pretty nice. Nice and dry. Just a little rubberstamps.com plug, if I may. You can literally put anything on a stamp. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> Got some Remarks pigment ink. Is there any color that can fix this mess? There you go, there you go. And then find where you want to put it and just... <laughs> and just... And just... It's oh my god! <laughs> oh gosh, that was so bad. Halen, why didn't you stop me? <laughs> Freshly cut wood. Sounds like tires. I don't know how you get campfire out of that. Take a sniff of the wood. We should probably just let the ink dry for a smidge. Just give it 10 minutes, okay? Wouldn't be impressive if we sat here for 10 minutes. <laughs> So the ink will be dry. It'll be a little wet on the actual frisket part. But it's kind of fun. I know. <laughs> <laughs> frisket. Oh, I almost got it. It's like mozzarella. Oops. Watch out. <laughs> See, it looks nice. It is, yeah, it's not bad if you look at it far away. Yeah. I mean, check it out. That completes our frisket, brisket, trisket project. So, if you have any questions, comments, trolling to do, shoot us the message. Mm -hmm. Leave a comment below. And definitely give us a. <laughs> that concludes this episode of Fake. It till you make it. it. I'm Paul. I'm Caitlin. And we'll see you next time.